the aviation industry in Singapore. With Singapore coming in 10th when it comes to foreign investors' confidence, they are also 4th in the world in terms of business competition. The aviation industry, on the other hand, is expected to grow further with the creation of 0.7 million jobs while contributing 35 billion to the GDP by 2035. The country's aviation sector is set to be worth $88 billion in 20 years, according to the International Air Transport Association. With all these in mind, let us peek into their new Salita Aerospace Park. Salita, transformed into a leading-edge, world-class aerospace facility designed to meet Singapore and the region's growing aerospace needs. Spreading over 300 hectares, it will include a 1,800-metre runway, aircraft parking areas and an engine run-up bay. The wide range of activities hosted in this area include Aerospace Maintenance, Repair and Overhaul MRO. Well equipped to meet demands of aviation-related services, Singapore also have about 100 aerospace companies backing the MRO sector, making it the leading aviation hub in Asia-Pacific. They also focus on manufacturing, assembly and testing. We have JTC 1 and 2 providing fully equipped space, offices with facilities where all businesses may operate comfortably in this vicinity. Spacious hangars in these facilities accommodate and support industrial and business aviation activities such as servicing, manufacturing, testing and many other related aviation needs. Salita Aerospace Park connect local and international companies creating opportunities and collaboration, making it a competitive aviation environment. Apart from space and opportunities, Singapore has more than 10 schools offering engineering and aviation courses. Education in the engineering sectors begin from Institute of Technical Education and Polytechnics proceeding on to degree courses. Singapore provides a ready pool of industry experts for companies with approximately 14,000 graduates per year. Here is an overview of the education structure in Singapore. Students are required to go through at least 12 years of education before moving on to the tertiary path. Aside to having English as the first language, mathematics as well as science are required subjects for engineering courses. Singapore equipped engineers with the best skills and knowledge. These are some of the organisations supporting the aviation industry in Singapore. Singapore offers grants, allowances, schemes and tax incentives which makes it an ideal place for businesses. Here are some factors as to why investors invest in Singapore. I can think of several reasons why we picked Singapore. One is proximity to the customers. Um, the second one was uh, clearly uh, a business-friendly country where intellectual property is protected. Uh, the third one is uh, <coughs> access to a very, uh, a very good workforce, uh, trainable workforce with a high degree of education. Um, and, and the last thing, the last element of our decision is also the proximity with suppliers. Why wait, investors? Do visit us at our website for more information.